Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Welcome to your weekend edition of Morning Coffee. Yes. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for the weekend of Friday, September 27th through Sunday, September 29th, 2019. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a message dated for this particular weekend doesn't mean it has to resonate over the weekend, it can resonate for you whenever. So whenever you see this video or receive this message and it resonates for you, then that is the message for you at that time. Yes? Um, I hope everyone had a great week and I hope everyone has a fantastic weekend up ahead. Yes. So, um, it's the last weekend in September, guys. We are, I mean, it's already fall, but we are moving into October. Yes, Halloween is coming up. I hope you guys are excited. I'm super excited. It's going to be so much fun, even though I don't really have any plans yet, but we'll, whatever, we'll get there. Anyway, <laughs> let's get into your pre-shuffle energy. So I, I, there's quite a few cards here on the table, as you can see, um, and I feel honestly between these two card or these two um, uh, I feel like we're talking about two different people here. Now it doesn't have to be that way, okay? Um, this could be you. This could be to be quite honest, this could be a look at the feminine and masculine energies within you. Um, doesn't have to be though. I just feel like this is too stark of a difference for it to really be one person. But let's talk about what we have here. The first side, we have the Magician, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Fool. All right, this is a really, a really good, clear, free energy, okay? We have an individual that's standing in their power, standing in their abundance, their autonomy, their individuality. It's probably very single. If you're not single, it doesn't matter. Um, you're still a very independent person, okay? And if you are single, then this is not an energy of, oh, what was me? I'm single. This is no, like, fuck yeah, I'm single. You damn right I'm single and I'm gonna do it up. <laughs> I'm gonna do whatever the hell it is I want. Obviously, this, well, not obviously, but it feels like this person is very grounded. Very grounded, okay? Is not, is not fucking around, is not trying, to, not trying to play games, is very focused on their life, on what it is they wanna manifest, very focused on what they wanna manifest. Um, taking a leap of faith, moving in a new direction, starting a new chapter, feeling like they have a new lease on life. This is complete freedom here, especially with between the fool and the magician, but then we're having the, the nine of pentacles in between that. This is like complete freedom, okay? This is a really excellent, excellent energy to be in. Feels very free, very flowy, carefree, not, not really having a care in the world, although Again, this individual feels very grounded. So like take, you know, that's mainly just a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a saying, it's a phrase. And yet at the same time, it's not because I, I mean, I know what it sounds like not having a care in the world. Um, that sounds really flippant and maybe even, um, I don't know, Pollyanna or um, yes, I've been listening to Abraham a lot <laughs> or um I don't know, uh, selfish, um, irresponsible. Irresponsible is the word I guess I was looking for, but it's not, okay? It's recognizing that you are the creator, the, the creator of your, of your world. You are, you are a master manifester. And this, especially coming from the Nine of Pentacles, this is all something that someone has come to an understanding of through trial and error, through being here, through, through being present throughout their process at least up until like maybe we'll say this last leg where they really pulled it together and now they're ready to start something new. They're ready to embark on a new journey. And it's not even like they're really all that worried about what this journey is gonna be or what this new direction is gonna be because with this nine of pentacles here, you just, you feel good. You feel safe, you feel solid, you feel secure, grounded, um, unconditionally loving, unconditionally loved even. But maybe that's because you're putting that up for yourself. That's great. 
Let's look at the other side of the equation. The other side of the equation, we have the Three of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and the Hermit. All right. Uh, at first glance, at first glance, and just feeling through the energies here, and then thinking about what we've been talking about collectively between my readings and the readings of others, okay? Um, at first glance, this could look like this side here, the magician, the nine of pentacles, and the fool is the feminine energies or the feminine individuals, whether you're a man or a woman. And this side can be seen as the three of pentacles, ten of wands, and the hermit as the masculine energies or um, the, the, the more masculinely oriented individuals. Again, whether you're a man or a woman, okay? What we have here is someone that's burdened by... Eesh. Okay. The, the, the biggest thing that I'm getting here is this is someone that's burdened by the choices that they've made uh, in their life up until now. Now, I'm not saying that um, this is unique to the masculine. The feminine energies, those who are now at this stage here, the magician, nine of pentacles, and the fool, if we even want to look at it this way between masculine and feminine, it doesn't have to be that. De depend I'm, I'm describing the two energies, so you choose where you fall on this, okay? Even if you are, even if you are looking, this as, looking at this as masculine and feminine, still, you can, look, you can fit, place yourself where it fits, okay? Don't try and make something fit that doesn't fit, all right? But um, the feminine had been, has been through this, right? That's why she's reached this nine of pentacles state because she's she's gained her freedom. She went through uh, a process of um, self-discovery, the hermit, okay? And faced all the burdens that she was carrying and dropped them, did the inner work, the three of pentacles, did worked on, went through the process of self-mastery in order to drop these burdens, to learn about who she is, to find her inner light and to move forward. Okay, to step into her power. Now, I'm not saying that she's done working on mastering herself. By all me by, by no means is that what I'm I'm referring to here. However, in terms of at this moment in time, with this I guess check-in that we're doing for this reading, yes, um, the feminine has been through this, or this individual on this side of this equation has already been through this. Okay? You have the world here. And it's the same, uh, in your overall energy, you have the world, which is the same side of the card that came out yesterday. On the other side, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Now, family could be a big factor here, okay? For some of you, I feel like family is a factor because you want to have a family. Like maybe this individual that's on this side, the magician, Nine of Pentacles, and the Fool, is manifesting a situation in which they can have a family, okay? Um, for others of you, it could be family that is in your way, that is burdening you. Maybe on this side of the equation, um, f uh, uh, fam familial structure, f uh, uh, family tradition, that kind of thing. Maybe some sort of patriarchal or maybe even a matriarchal situation that in, in which would feels like it would be fairly manipulative. Okay, That could be part of the burdens here, Ten of Wands. Also, also though, Especially with the world here, which is talking about a completion of a cycle, you also have a completion of a lesson with the Ten of Pentacles, an earthly lesson. And it feels like that's what both of you have been working on wrapping up. So now if we're talking about a counterpart situation here, divine partnership, divine union, twin flame, whatever you want to call it, this is definitely something that the both of you have been working on individually and yet subconsciously together, okay? You both have been doing your part to close out these cycles. In between the two of you, what is connecting these two energies, you have the Seven of Cups. And it's the brighter side of the card. Illumination is the first thing I think of when I see this card. The angels coming through to help, uh, spirit guides, um, ancestors, whatnot, whatever. Um, honestly, with this card, I want to say the future looks bright, okay? Because things are still kind of in flux, for sure. I mean, things are always going to be in flux. Um, there is no escaping change. Change is the only constant that you can rely on in all of existence. 
If you want to re- if you want to know that you can rely on one thing and one thing only in all of existence, whether it's physical or non-physical, it is change. Change. Ex- uh, 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 expansion, growth, enlightenment, even if it's change for the worse. Because change for the worse would lead to, ultimately would lead to learning something new, eventually, right? But change is the meaning of life. Change is the meaning of existence. Uh, expansion, growth, uh, like all, all that stuff. Ascension, uh, learning, whatever. It's, that is what the meaning of life is. And that is the only thing that you will ever, the only one thing you will ever be able to count on. Well, other than like the laws of the universe. Okay, but you guys get what I'm saying, right? Seven of Cups, the future is looking bright. There are plenty, there are a pl- plethora of options as to how things can work out. And if the two of you, if we're talking about counterparts here, if the two of you just maintain the faith, because it looks like the work is being done, it has been done on this side and it's continuing to be done on this side, and now it looks like it's being done here. Excuse me, guys, I'm gonna sneeze, I think. No, no sneezings. Okay, but if you two just keep the faith, it looks like things could work out really well. You've got a plethora of options, infinite options even. So this would be a great time, especially for those on this side of the equation, whether it's the feminine or not, who cares? Doesn't matter. Whoever's on this side of the equation, now would be a perfect time this side being, I'm sorry, this side of the equation being the magician, the nine of pentacles, and the fool. Now would be a perfect time to work on non-attachment, to work on removing any sort of mm, attachments to a certain outcome, to a certain way, to a certain time frame, even to a certain person. Unless you're still, unless you're getting like strongly, strongly guided in a certain direction, unless it just feels right, okay? You might wanna just think about just completely releasing all expectations and just holding true to what it is you know you want to manifest. Okay, which I am seeing as this Ten of Pentacles type of energy. Ten of Pentacles is family, is longevity, is career, is finances, is abundance, um, physical, the physical manifestation of your heart's desire, right? I would really just focus on the energy of this without real ex- without any real specifics or expectation again unless it just feels good to go into those specifics this might be a really good time for you to practice non-attachment to a specific outcome okay because it does feel like every there there's a bunch of stuff just like up in the air right now all right guys okay give me just a second here Before I continue, I want to reset, but I also want to take a second to blow my nozzles. Hold on. All right, that's better. Ah, much better. Okay, (laughs) so with all that said, let's move on. Let's see what else we're getting for this weekend. September 27th through the 29th. The Six of Cups. Oh. And it's funny because it's the side of the card where it's like, all right, homie, homegirl, homeboy, it's time to come home now. You've been off in the ethers for too long. It's time to get a little practical or it's time to come home and just go to bed to rest. We do have the, um, 
the six of cups which is the soulmates here so okay that's what we were talking about here and it's interesting okay so in terms of practicality for some of you it may be time to like to like rest or retreat a little bit or maybe like head home and and get practical about some things like if you're if someone is looking to reach out because that's been something that's been coming up for the at least the twin flame collective for some time now if someone wants to reach out and they don't exactly know how to do so they may they may be feeling apprehensive whatnot whatever you might want to you know settle down to the ground a little bit come back out of the ethers, come back out of the dreamland and maybe get a little bit practical about how you want to approach. Instead of just living in fantasy land about it, maybe it's time to like take that, that, that feeling, that fantasy you have and maybe flesh it out a little bit. You know, it's just a suggestion. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to get a closing or a clearing shuffle here. We'll do one more. And then we'll get into it for the weekend. All right, kids. Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our weekend of Friday, September 27th through Sunday, September 29th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Spirit wants me to do five shuffles today. All right. Five shuffles. One. For the collective. Two. Three. <laughs> Four, for our weekend edition, and five. All right, guys, here we go. Best messages, please, Spirit. My eyes are closed, so I'm not going to see what cards are going to fall out. But with that said, what would you like to discuss with us today, Spirit? for our weekend edition. For our weekend edition. Friday, September 27th through Sunday, September 29th. What's going on today, Spirit? This weekend, what do you wanna talk with us? What do you wanna speak with us about? What, what, just what? What do you wanna talk about? Just tell me already, good golly. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Okay. There's some more. There's more. I'm going to do this one more time here. We'll see what else comes out for the weekend. Oh, there we go. There's more. There's more. One more. Okay, we're going to do one more here. And then we'll stop there. Woo! All right. Okay, there we go. Overall energy, oh boy, oh boy. We have the Four of Pentacles with the E, the Queen of Swords. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Well, check it out. The Queen of Swords is here. The Queen of Swords energy is here to help someone break free from some sort of chains, to break free from some sort of confinement, something that they're holding on to. The devil with the Four of Pentacles, okay? 
We have the Page of Cups, we have the Two of Wands, we have the Hanged Man with the Page of Pentacles, and the, all right, good, the, the Knight of Pentacles with the Empress. This is a really good energy, and to be quite honest, this is so straightforward, it's almost a little scary. So let's start here. You have the Page of Pentacles with the Hanged Man, and this is the Hanged Man, the side of the Hanged Man that came out yesterday. All right, this is someone breaking free of dogma, indoctrination, whatnot, whatever, and starting a new reality. This is a level up, all right? And, and, and especially with this Page of Pentacles here between the Hanged Man and the Page of Pentacles, because I do see the Page of Pentacles as a, as a level up of starting something new, um, making a new commitment. Um, trying to get your footing in a new environment, right? Whether that be physical or energetic. I do feel like it's, uh, well, no, it's both. It's both ener physical and energetic. Um, and, oh, specifically, I'm feeling like for someone out here, your reality is really starting to shift. Your internal reality is really starting to be reflected into your external reality right now. And that's why you're going through this massive change in perspective. Okay, and this might have been something that you would have has that has been in the works subconsciously. Like it's not something like it literally it feels like it's snuck up on you or at least it's snuck up on your ego. And now your ego might be having a little bit of a problem. A little bit of a problem. Okay. On the other side here, you have the page of cups with the two of wands. The page of cups is the dreamer energy. And this is definitely a situation in which someone is trying to make a decision or at least needs to make a decision here um, and in order to do that either you're relying on your dreams like you're you're looking to your dreams it's like okay well I know things are shifting around me so I know I've got to make a decision so what direction do I actually want to go in this is very smart using this energy in this way, okay? Um, again, like I said yesterday, this is not gonna be an overnight process, okay? Because we have the devil with the knight of pentacles, but also the empress, all right? The empress is a really, is a very, re a very, very comforting and reassuring energy here in terms of this situation because slow and steady wins the race all right you don't we don't want we're not encouraging anybody to rush to try and rush through removing themselves from this devil energy removing themselves from this toxicity however that may resonate with you, okay? Because we wanna make sure with this Knight of Pentacles energy, and this is a direct channel from the universe, okay? That's why I'm saying we, but we wanna make sure that this is done right and you don't face relapsing, basically, for lack of a better term. Especially, you know, if we are talking about addiction, like drugs, um, we definitely don't want to relapse, right? That would defeat the purpose of why we're going through this process to begin with, right? And I'm hearing, I'm hearing a relapse has happened in the past. So maybe you were in this position in which you were releasing yourself or someone was releasing themselves from some sort of codependency, attachment, addiction, toxicity, maybe even narcissism. Uh, extreme egotism, um, extreme materialism, anything like that, because all of that can be represented by the devil. Maybe someone was in the process of releasing themselves from that before, but they didn't. It wasn't. It it wasn't done thoroughly, and that left a little bit of remnants of whatever you were trying to clean out in the space, and so that gave the energies an open doorway to just flood back in eventually. You know what I mean? Like. We don't, we don't want that to happen this time. So slow and steady wins the race here. You're doing, you're taking this 
or at least you need to be taking this step by step, piece by piece, pace by pace, instance by instance. And the Empress energy here is so... Um, Welcome, I want to say, because the Empress re represents abundance. So the Empress is that soothing, that motherly, that compassionate, that unconditionally loving, understanding energy that says, no, honey, you don't have to rush this. Come on, let's just do it right and get it all done so that we can completely move on from this forever and be free from this and not have to worry about this instance or this specific circumstance again or whatever it is we're talking about here. You know what I mean? The Empress is also speaking to a gestation period. She also speaks to, in her, in her um, representation of abundance, she also does represent birth, i.e. gestation. I feel like something is coming, something is, is, is gestating, something is about to be born. And it's out of darkness, the devil. Which makes perfect sense. Because darkness is where things are born. The womb is dark. When you put a seed in the ground, it's dark. The seed has to germinate and then sprout and the plant grows and then breaches the earth for it to reach the light. Okay, darkness is not bad. So, well, not intrinsically bad. Okay, so what I'm seeing here especially for this person, this individual, whomever is going through this transformation, is removing, is relieving themselves, working on cutting themselves free, Queen of Swords, releasing things that they've been holding on to, Four of Pentacles, the devil. Whatever darkness, whatever toxicity, whatever addiction, codependency, whatnot, whatever, whatever the devil represents for you and you're going through this, pre this period, it may be on the surface be perceived to be bad, but in all honesty, if you really want to boil it down, if you really want to see a different side of the equation, the hanged man, this actually was pretty good, wasn't it? Because it taught you something. It taught you a really strong and deep lesson that you will probably never forget. Well, I would hope you would never forget it. <laughs> right? We don't want to be doing that again. Right? This is a very good thing, you guys. I know some of you are, are watching this. Particularly, you're probably re you're, this is probably resonating for a specific counterpart of yours, and you're watching this like, oh, God, that Knight of Pentacles. Can't we get this over with already? But no, you can't rush this. The div divine timing absolutely is at play here. All right? Divine timing definitely is a factor here. You just got to let this process play out. So for those of you that are watching this, that are watching, like say for the feminines out here that are watching this, and this resonates with your masculine counterpart, just stay in your nine of pentacles energy. Stay in, stay in your abundance. Stay in your happiness. Stay in the, the space that you have built for yourself, that you've worked so hard to get to. The masculine is on his way. Look, he's doing it. He's doing the... Do you see... At least for the part of the collective that I'm, I'm channeling for, he's doing the work. Why? Most likely because you did your work. We're mirrors of each other. You've been consistently doing your work. And you're starting to see, you're starting to see results, right? Hold on, feminines. Talk to me for a second. You're seeing results, right? In your own life. Maybe not with your masculine, but you're seeing results in your life of the work that you are doing, right? And it's the work that you've been guided to do all along by spirit, right? Whether it's through my readings, through someone else's readings, because there are a ton of great readers out there that are, we're, and we're all basically channeling the same messages, guys. And none of us are really working together. I mean, I'm not working together with anybody. I have my friends here that we have intentions of, you know, doing some things together in the future. But as far as these readings go, we're not sitting here like key, key and talking about, okay, what are we going to tell the kids this time? No, we're all channeling this independently. All right. So between our readings and your own intuition, you're seeing results, right? You're seeing changes, right? So remain in your faith. Just keep going. Don't worry about the outcome so much. Don't worry about the specifics so much. Don't worry about what the masculine is doing so much. You have no control over it anyway. 
right? All you have control over is the fact that you're doing your work. And if this person really is your counterpart, then because you're doing your work, you're going to influence them to do so. But again, don't focus on that. Because quite frankly, that's none of your business. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Clarification time. Spirit wants to speak directly about the changes that are being made. Spirit wants to give advice. Where do you want to start? Here. We want to start here. Okay. We're going to start with the devil, the knight of pentacles, and the empress. And I'm just, I'm just going to let spirit talk. So we're using the golden universal tarot for this. Because this is the deck that I use when spirit wants to speak directly. I use the other decks if I just want to get greater definition on the energies. But spirit has some things to say. So we're going to let spirit speak. One more shuffle, they say. All right. Here we go. So what do you have to say about this? The Knight of Pentacles, the Devil, and the Empress Spirit. What do you have to say about this? The what? The Two of Cups? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's sweet. Oh, isn't that cute? With the Queen of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. Mm-mm-mm. Overall energy is justice. Wow. Wow. All right. Um, so what this is saying here, guys, yes, you do have a brand new start that's happening, uh, a level up, a new physical reality, a new expression in the physical is being acquired, is being reached. You have the Two of Cups, which, to be honest, is speaking of internal union for a masculine individual. Also, what's speaking to that is the Queen of Cups. So what we're, say, what we're seeing here, and this is definitely for a masculinely oriented individual, whether you are a man or a woman, but what's happening here is there is an integration of the masculine with the feminine, the Queen of Cups. But this is not just the feminine energy. This is the emotions. This is psychic ability. This is empathy. For some of you, you may even be opening up to telepathic communication and by that I mean starting to consciously say okay what is all this and why is this happening to me but instead of looking at it from a judgmental point of view you're looking at it from a place of curiosity page of pentacles the page of pentacles is an energy of um, uh, commitment it's an energy of wanting to learn inquisitiveness um, the apprentice okay I feel a sincere desire to learn, to understand, and to grow instead of being stuck in the toxicity, stuck in the fear, stuck in the apprehension. Absolutely. And especially with the Empress and the Queen of Cups here, this is definitely an indication that the, the feminine energies, whether that be your feminine counterpart or just the universal feminine energies, like, like say the rise of the Divine Feminine, which is an age that we are in right now, is influencing this within you. I'm seeing with the Page of Pentacles and this Empress here, I'm seeing the masculine almost... almost approaching the feminine or the his inner his or her inner feminine from a place of teacher student i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry student teacher the page of pentacles being the student the the, the empress or the queen of cups being the teacher but this is not this is not and i and i, I it took me a second to to get that out because i didn't want to make it sound like the masculine is be, be being subservient or is 
is like enslaving himself to the feminine. It's more like the masculine is coming from a place of humbleness saying, okay, so this is shifting and this is actually happening. I know I consciously know it's, it's happening. I can't I can't deny that it's happening. It's very it's very physical. It's all up in my face. And you know more about this than I do. So I'm going to let you teach me. Will you teach me? Will you help me understand how to handle this? I'm ready to learn now. I'm ready to grow. I'm ready to embody this. I'm ready to explore. So what do we do now? And the feminine sitting there like, well, damn, what took you so long, buddy? <laughs> okay, and with the overall energy of justice here, the scales are being balanced. Because at one point, the scales were, uh, were imbalanced and the devil was, was, had control over that. But now, individuals are taking their power back. And finding their own sense of inner union and balancing the scales. Bringing justice to their lives, to the situation as a whole, to the planet even. I like that spirit. All right, so now with this energies, with these, excuse me, with these energies of a new start, hold on, let me move this over here. good okay with these energies of a new start spirit wants to talk about this a little bit too we have the page of pentacles with the page of cups the hanged man and the two of wands all right so you're there's that page of pentacles again you're starting on a new journey all right you're leveling up you're 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 becoming the apprentice again and there is no shame in that okay because you are you are you are entering into an apprenticeship having come from a place of completing your prerequisites. So now you get to learn the real stuff, the good stuff. Yeah? Page of Cups, the dreamer. Where do I go from here? What do I even want? What do I want to accomplish? Like, what's, what's out there? Two of Wands, making a decision, moving. Now you probably, the Two of Wands probably does, um, does symbolize having made this decision already. Whether you have, whether you're conscious, oh, consciously aware of that or not, at some level, I feel like many of you, and this is probably on a soul level, many of you have already made some sort of decision that that just kind of happened naturally as you were facing this hanged man energy of a change in perspective, coming out of some sort of dogma or indoctrinated circumstance or situation. Yes. Okay. So, with that said, Spirit, what do you want to say about this now? I think that was the Eight of Pentacles. And I'm hearing slow and steady wins the race again. But if this is the Eight of Pentacles, this, yeah, this is, yeah, you're going to have to work. Yep, sure is. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're going to have to work at this. Seven of Pentacles, whoa. The seven to the eight. You guys, this is a big change. This is progress. With the page of cups. <laughs> With the page of cups, again, at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> you know, you know what I wanna say? Especially if we're talking to a masculine en en energy here or an individual who was more masculinely oriented, fucking bravo, man. Good for you. Because there is some serious growth. There is some serious change that's happening here. Serious progress. Seven to the eight of pentacles, right? So what this is saying here is, because it's, it's funny because the seven of pentacles fell out first, but it fell out face down. And then the Eight of Pentacles flipped over and that's what caught my eye. So yeah, okay, Spirit is saying, yes, there is going to be a lot of hard work to do here. If you want to consider it hard work. But I wouldn't even, let's talk about this Eight of Pentacles first. I wouldn't even consider this hard work. This is craftsmanship. 
This is perfecting your art. And what is your art? What is our first and foremost, the first art each and every one of us was here to perfect? The art of manifestation. That is why we are here. We are all mini godly creators in meat suits <laughs> walking around this planet working on learning how to be master manifestors. That is what the Eight of Pentacles energy is. If you want to look at it as hard work, all right, fine. But you're, I feel like that's going to be a detriment because that takes the fun out of it. Okay, so what this means, seven to the eight of pentacles, what this means is it really feels like you have used your checkpoint wisely. You have said to yourself, okay, what do I have? What is my harvest right now? Is this what I want? Is this truly what I want? And how did I get myself here? You answer those questions accordingly, and then you move to the next phase. Creating, perfecting, building. You have the Three of Pentacles, right? Where was the Three of Pentacles? The Three of Pentacles was in the pre-shuffle. Yes, the Three of Pentacles was in the, the pre-shuffle. So you have that, and you have this Eight of Pentacles here now. So Spirit is saying... Okay, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. The Three of Pentacles is an, is an energy of self-mastery. Teamwork even, but of building also, right? And then you have this Eight of Pentacles here. So you're definitely doing the work. Or at least you're of a mindset. You're in a mindset to be able to or want to do the work. Again, no rushing here. Knight of Pentacles, no rushing. But guys, this is so crazy. I love that the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Cups have come out twice. This is beautiful. But anyway, um, I feel like you've chosen, whomever, for whomever I'm channeling for here, this seven, seven to the Eight of Pentacles energy is, is giving me the impression that you've really chosen wisely here. You've really chosen wisely. Oh... Okay, well, it's time for Oracle Guidance now. And I just realized I want to use, I want to work with the dragons. I want to get some Oracle Guidance from the dragons, but I don't have it here. I have to get into, go into my closet. So bear with me. Bear with me, kids. I gotta get into my closet here. You're probably going to see all my laundry <laughs> that's piled up in this little corner. Here they are. No, you can't see it. Okay, good. I probably should never even have mentioned it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but yeah, the dragons, there's, we want to get, we're getting oracle guidance from the dragons today. That totally just hit me. Um, focus on your dreams is what Spirit is saying with this page of cups and the overall energy here. Allow your dreams to guide you. What is it that you want? Allow yourself to dream, guys. Allow yourselves to dream. Don't focus on the physical so much, is what I just heard. Yes, the physical is where the manifestation happens. The physical is where the manifestation is ultimately going to show up, right? But instead of, instead of focusing so much on the physical, allow yourself to focus in the non-physical. Allow yourself to focus on the emotions. How do you feel? Your feelings are your compass. So... And especially with this energy of integrating with your own, with your inner feminine energies and starting to, to, to explore your emotions, right? Starting to get comfortable, starting to integrate with your emotions. Now is the time to really focus on this Page of Cups energy, this, this dreamer energy, this emotional energy, okay? Use that to your advantage. Many of you are master manifestors to begin with, like you're really good at manifesting. But now that you're adding the extra added guidance of your emotions into play, think about how much, think about how strong 
their manifestations are gonna be moving forward. Like, that's beautiful. All right, guys, Oracle Guidance. To close out this reading. All right, here we go. Closing message, please, Spirit. Whoa, that's too many. I just heard... No, 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 that's too many. Closing message, please, Spirit. There it is. Air and fire dragon. You see, look at this. Expands your creative energies. Harness your creativity, excitement, and enthusiasm. Communicate your passion. That's exactly what we're talking about here with this Page of Cups energy. Yes. Yes, spirit. Oh my God, I love this, you guys. I love it. All right, air and fire dragon. Where are you? There you are, fourth dimension. Okay. Card number, th uh, duh, duh, uh, uh, page 32. There it is. All right. Shimmering fourth dimensional blue and orange air and fire dragons are very vocal. They love to express themselves and make their presence known. They often create turbulence as they swirl around us. Air mixes with fire to ignite an explosion of creativity, enthusiasm, and aliveness. These dragons make us feel happy, excited, and sometimes a little unsettled or even overwhelmed. At the same time, the element of fire transmutes lower energies and clears the path of our destiny, while air enables us to communicate our passion at a soul level. The guidance here is, choosing this card indicates it is time to harness your gifts and talents for your highest good and that of the world. You have something in your soul to bring forward. So your guidance is to decide what fires your enthusiasm, then trust your inner wisdom and talk about it. Take a chance and step onto your true path of happiness and creativity. Remember that excitement and passion are magnetic qualities and will draw the right people and situations to you. This card can also suggest that circumstances may present themselves to you in which you will be required to make a rapid decision using your intuition and discernment rather than logic. The air and fire dragon who has come to you is telling you to trust yourself. You have all you need to make the right choice. With your air and fire dragon beside you, success is ensured. Wow. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, with that, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Um, look out for the masculine and feminine readings coming out this weekend. Also, I'll probably have the October readings out this weekend because I'm going to finish recording them today, um, I think. Anyway, stay tuned because we got a bunch of stuff coming out for you. Yeah? But with that, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee on Monday morning. Yeah? Take care. Bye.